I'm Charles Barkley, the Auburn Tigers. Here are a few of my nicknames. The Bread Truck, the Love Boat, Food World, the Frisco Kid, which is my second favorite, the Wide Low from Lee, Town of Fun, the Good Time Blimp. So my favorite is the Round Mound the Rebound. I am here with the star of the All-Stars. However, yesterday, on. yesterday, Charles. Charles and Doug and Hubie. Charles, I want to go right to you and get right to a news item Might first well of all. start at the top and work your way down. <laughs> <laughs> That's a disgusting that I have to come in here and interview you in your locker room. This, hey, first this, of this all, is disgusting. Hey, first of all, you, did, you didn't check with my people and they didn't get back to your people. People never get tired. You get tired of you sometimes. Well, I think that anytime you have a Intellectual, my magnitude. <laughs> Did you get dazed on that shot, from oh. Alonzo? Morning, it looked like you were getting ready to go down. Oh, you had a cut, but apparently not. I, I, first of all, I don't want them to hurt this masterpiece known as my face. <laughs> That's the only thing I was really concerned about. My daughter is obviously the most important thing in my life. Is she cute? Looks beautiful. Reminds me of a young me. <laughs> a young me. She reminds me of a young me. She looks exactly like me. She has long hair. So, oh, yeah, you got long hair. We're going to cut Charles's hair now. Make sure that you don't rub too hard, for these things are dangerous. I'm going to go I know you never worked soft. on a piece of art like this before, so be careful. Oh, man, you have no talent. But I was feeling terrible. I was feeling like you look. You're just like a cute little elf. The sexual harassment stuff is really get to the point where it's absurd. Oh, Paula Jones would be lucky somebody want to touch her ugly ass. Damn, Marley! Oh, my, Dan, Dan, I'm just like every other woman in Phoenix. Can I have you? It used to be a Chippendale. Now I'm a Clydesdale. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great honor to be on the bus. I personally wouldn't want to see my face first thing in the morning. What player reminds you of you the most back in your playing days? Well, I hope none of these women will ever have an ass bigger than mine. That was funny. You mentioned it. Why is that? The Krispy Kreme thing. Why? I was going to bring you some. I think it's really unfair. I think the greatest thing in the world is, I don't think it's bad that Chris and Cream had a little hot time. That's like, that's like the, that's like the cruise, uh, not the, I don't want to say crucifix, they'd be you're killing me on TV. <laughs> but that's like a really unfair thing. That's like crack. That little red Krispy Kreme. So now time. you see why I got to be the size I am. Oh no, you you've been eating more than Krispy Kreme. I consider myself ugly, but I consider my Moses ugly. Uh. <laughs> the best thing that's ever happened to me was my association with Moses Malone, watching his work habits. He's just talking to me all the time. You know, Moses talks all the time anyway. It was so loud when it went through. It's the most uh, surreal. I'm not sure what surreal means, but I saw it on somebody said. Uh, I just love to play basketball. I always will. Won't be any good at it, but I still love to play. I think Dick is being a little sensitive. I mean, he is six or seven years old. I mean, I got nothing against old people. Uh, <laughs> I want to be one one day. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you shouldn't do this tonight. <laughs> I think those are the best years of your life. Then I get like you, I get old. <laughs> All right, Charles. Time out. <laughs> 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 Charles, <laughs> it's nice for the players to have a place to come. But you know, this city closes down pretty early. And uh, we know we can always find a place to eat now. No, he knows we're not paying for anything. He can be rest assured we're not paying for anything. How much do you know about Angola, the guy that you would be playing there? I don't know anything about Angola, but Angola's in trouble, I think. They in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> they in serious trouble. I don't know how much oh, Christian Leitner's oh. going to get to play, man. But <laughs> now tell me, oh. this guy is a, uh, is a collegian hanging out with you guys in Spain. Oh, we're going to kill him, you know that. <laughs> I mean, what's it going to be, like this typical rookie treatment? He's going to be a little stronger than the rest of the rookies because they're going to start carrying bags next year. He's going to be carrying bags all summer. <laughs> Obviously, he's played Brazil tomorrow. Where do you go from here? Oh, we kill them. They're not from this country. We are the best at basketball, and we got to kill them all. Why don't they just take their ass whipping like people and go home? Charles, uh, these guys were so nice and friendly, and they were patting each other on the back, commending you all. Uh, is it hard what they're going to be by 40 points. But is it hard for you nice to turn? guys finish last. A couple of times I just threw people out the way and was fortunate they didn't call it. We're playing the Knicks. Uh, I think the Knicks are next home game. They can't play a lucky. They just try to beat people up. You know. Charles, are they the most physical team you played this year? Are uh, they the most hacking team we played this year? <laughs> What's the difference? A hack is a foul. Physical is something else. Now come on, some of those hits are a little unfair, aren't they, CB? As long as you don't get arrested for it, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I couldn't be 
so-so called Charles Barkley off the court, I'd be in jail. I threw him through the window. So they asked me, did I have any regrets? I said, yeah, I regret that we were on the first floor. That's about it. I wish we were on like the third floor, so he could have failed. Let there be no conflict in America. If you bother me, I'm going to whoop your ass. Well, he said he would never apologize. Not uh, even at gunpoint. Uh, but as you know, I always carry a gun with me. <laughs> There, there, there is a chance. There is a chance. I, I'm going to go to my truck and get my gun and see. So if I get arrested for murder, y'all know he didn't apologize. We have <laughs> Obviously, the ref's not going to do the job. They're going to let him set, move, and pick that day. So I was trying to separate his shoulder or break a rib. <laughs> I was serious. See, I told you guys. Sir see? Charles is not a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy. At all. At all. Shaquille. Punched out somebody from Detroit tonight, so we probably won't see him on TNT on Thursday. So I hope it was a good shot. He's going to get fined a lot. I wouldn't want Fisher necessarily to take that shot that fast. Uh oh. Oh, there's a swing by O'Neal. Boy, oh, you can't let nobody hit you a good way with it. Charles, why do you lay him out, man? A big boy, man. Uh, he's not bigger than you, are. <laughs> yeah, you better check that. Those though, guys so. tell me that you cheat on the golf course. I just want to win. I don't care about <laughs> I don't really care about if they say I cheated or not. The most important thing is to win. You should know that. They said, boy, you can hit it 400 yards, but you never know where it's going. Oh, it's going to be somewhere out there because I don't really know where it's going. But on those rare occasions when it's working perfectly, I'm pretty good. What is your handicap? Well, it depends on how much money I'm playing for. Like if I'm playing with the Paupers, I'm a legit 12. Yeah, yeah. If I'm playing with Michael Jordan, those rich guys. I'm a 15 or 20. Hey, listen, your golf game is going on too, right? Hey, my golf game is coming around. <laughs> I, hey, when I play Neil and Howard, I'm going to be kicking some butt. And, <laughs> and my friend Derek. We haven't seen you since the NBA Finals in June. What have you been doing to keep yourself busy in the offseason? Absolutely nothing. I, I, don't like being bu I don't like being busy. I love doing nothing. I still suck at golf, uh, but I haven't been doing anything. I don't care about being down 3-1. God want us to win the world championship. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far, Charles. No, no. But, I talked to him the other night. Had to be motivated by the people who are getting ready for a championship. Uh, yes, Chicago. You can take all that wood off them wonders. There won't be no rise and things tonight. Might be later, but take all that plywood off the wonders. All right, Charles. We'll see you in Phoenix. Thank you, baby. Charles, final message to the people of Chicago as you head back west now. Take that shit off the windows. <laughs> You don't need it tonight. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I believe it 100% that it's just our destiny. Oh, no, he, re he said he read a different Bible than I did. I'll make this statement. You agree or disagree. Charles Barkley is a great, great player, but Michael Jordan is in a class by himself, clearly superior to anybody else in the league. <laughs> Have another drink, Bob. Man, Michael there. Jordan shot the ball 43 times. <laughs> Damn! That's unbelievable. He's gonna be icing his elbow too. Damn! Is America gonna love you as much as Jordan by the end of this? Love me? Oh, I'm their worst nightmare. A brother who won't be quiet. He got a lot of money, and I like hanging out with people who got money. How did you feel in 1972 when the Soviet Union beat the United States in that wild game? Well, I had just flunked my entrance exam in the kindergarten, so I really, that was the only thing. Every day we got back to practice, we made a beeline to the swimming pool, because all those girls were laying out topless. I'm going to be in that pool so much in the next two days. I don't think I'm on the swimming team in Barcelona. We're going to have a li little revenge in our hearts for 72 and 88. David, well, he can't say that because he's a Christian, but uh... I'd rather win the playoff MVP because I think you get a truck, don't you? <laughs> I didn't get no truck. I want a truck. Personal awards are important. Some guys lie and say they're not important. They're just lying, though. You know, everybody say you have to get to the finals and learn. I, I really think that's a bunch of crap. That was a really, really boring game. I apologize for playing like crap, but I couldn't get motivated. I ain't gonna lie. Well, we don't have a lot of plays. Only, only place we got is get the ball to me somehow. The league, they're making money. They don't control you with money. Was, this is not, you know, uh, you control people with money. I know you white guys would like to keep it like that. I'm just kidding. I don't, shouldn't joke like that. <laughs> you said something to him on the free throw line. What'd you say to him? Well, I told him you couldn't get a pin up his ass with a jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little tight on that one. Damn. But a net, that wouldn't hit anything. The doctor went in there. Sold my arm on, but it was ripped off in a tractor trailer accident. <laughs> my grandmother's kind of like my father. <laughs> you know, she is the dictator of the house. You know, it wasn't a democracy, it was a dictatorship. 
My grandmother runs everything. How's your political career coming along? Are you just going to go into uh, politics? Well, or I'm going to see how the impeachment thing turn out before, because I know I got a lot of skeletons in my closet, so I got to see how the impeachment thing works. <laughs> <laughs> I got I to slow my roll. I got to see what happened to Slick Willie. Hey, Clinton, hey, if Bill Clinton... If he can get away with it, well, then I'm running. <laughs> so what do you think about... What do you think about Charles running for office? What do you think about Charles? What, what? Go ahead, Dre. <laughs> I'll let you under this. This is called Yay, Alabama. Remember the Rose Bowl will win, then. Go roll to victory. Hit your stride. Your dick is with my pride. Crimson and Tide. <laughs> Actually, the worst part of the All-Star weekend is the game because you go out all night Friday night, all night Saturday night, and then by the time the game comes around, you're too tired to play. But that's what it's for. I mean, that's the only break we get during the year, and it's supposed to be fun, and we definitely have fun. I love Hot Rod. He's, I think he's the best sick man in basketball, and we need somebody to back him up. Oh, so what, what, are you, what are you going to do with me? We'll put you down on the end of the bench. Okay. We recall that you threw a little elbow at a guy named Erlander Coimbra of Angola the last time, and we checked. He's on the team. Do you plan to take him out to dinner in Atlanta, show him the sights here in the States? I'm going to hit him the same way I did the first time. <laughs> something had happened on the other end. I knew he was mad. So I said something to him to make him even madder. And I knew running down the floor, he was going to hit me or come close to hit me. So the time he got close enough for me to breathe, I just flopped. <laughs> and they called it. I was leaning sideways before he even hit me. So it was easy. Well, guys, I guess uh, sex is definitely out of the question tonight. Um, Thanks for telling us. I'm just letting you know that. Well, there ain't nothing more fun than winning. Just sex. But you would know about that. I thank him for going along with this. We're going to give a ton of money. Oh, we got to give two blackjack hands to charity. Uh, How is Chuck Daly going to handle guys like you and Michael Jordan and the Mayo Man and all these guys on the same ball club? Chuck Daly's probably got the easiest job in America. Everybody in the world has an ego. The only difference between us, we have a reason to have an ego. We're going to win because we can't afford to lose because we could never come back to this country if we lost. How wonderful he is. He's going to help you win a title. I gave him $60 million. <laughs> <laughs> That's the least he could do is win me the championship. Imagine you have to have a level of hate for your opponent or a level of dislike. Uh, Magic Johnson's not playing anymore. I'm so, just asking you. I don't worry about it. You know, the only yeah. thing matters to players who play. I always say, the game is all hard if you can't play. <laughs> And, uh, you, know. you and Oprah are the only people we know making 30 million. Oh, yeah? How does that feel? It puts us in a good class. You know, Oprah and you, Oprah and Michael Jordan, what a fascinating couple. <laughs> well, the NBA sent us a rule today that says anytime we foul in by delivery too hard, we're going to get ejected from the game so you're safe. Good. <laughs> are you a Democrat or a Republican? I'm a Democrat. Oh, he stole us out, Rich. <laughs> he stole us out. Tonight, your front court definitely handed it to the Chicago Bulls. Well, that's the media. And they don't know anything. <laughs> They've been putting except out for me, Except for me. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, the ESPN News. Y'all still trying to rip people off with that old the station, aren't you? Friends is always fucked up. We understand that. Right. Ain't that happening today, man. Y'all just came to practice for no reason. Just to bug the shit out of me today. What's the most important thing you have to do next game? Score the more points than they do. <laughs> I would have said anything if you hadn't asked me the question. That is such happy, happy horse shit. I would personally like to tell all y'all out there who bash it to kiss my big black ass. Charles don't talk on the court. He talks to himself, to the referee, and to the fans when the fans get rude to him. That's exactly right. Some fans are idiots, and if they say something I don't like, I curse them out. Favorite folks on the call-in shows have been very vocal in their criticism of you for doing this. You really think I give a flying fuck what the people on the radio calls say? Thank you. Dennis Rock. No question he's a nitwit. It's not about the fans. It's about a friend. I really don't give a flying fuck. Well, you can't say flying fuck. I really don't give a FF what they think. These three guys are three of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, and I'm ha happy to have them as Don't friends. be telling people we're nice guys. We're nice. <laughs> we ruin our rep. They're the worst guys, guys I know. I mean, we're, we're still flying. People are stupid. Don't take my job, but take Kenny. He's in the studio now. Kenny's just keeping my seat warm. No, I don't want Kenny's job. I want Ernie Johnson's job. It was nice talking to you, Charles. Where's my Christmas present at? I got it for you. You know what it is? A big loss. 
<laughs> oh, okay. Try to keep uh, keep your emotions under control. Cause right now you 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 hurt a lot. You know, hopefully we can win the game now. Charles, I hope you do. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Let's go over to Ahmad Rashad. I've never been kissed like that before. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Even people in Seattle, happy holidays. Well, see, you gotta have diversity in your personality. See, simultaneously, in my overall complexity of my situation, which is myself, I am able to generate a positive response and a negative response to reach a certain arterial motive. I'm just kidding, folks. <laughs>